it was a day pretty much like today. Bright and busy with a little, of, little rain in the market district of downtown Kingston. In the middle of the large crowd, a man walked up to a woman. He grabbed her and hit her across her face and said something to the effect of, me never tell you, say so you not to leave the yard. That sounds familiar? He pulled the woman's phone from her hand and warned, now make me reach the yard before you get there. Then he calmly walked away. The woman was frozen with fright. And despite this being a busy day downtown, with several people looking on, nobody did or said anything. Sound familiar? Now, the irony of the story is, it turned out that the woman didn't know the man. She had never seen him before in her life. It was a tactic, I read say in Jamaica, tactics, that this crook was using to pick her pocket and to steal her phone. But this isn't an isolated case. We have been hearing of similar attacks across the country. The criminals who use this tactic believe that they'll get away with it. They know that many of us would see a man abusing a woman in public and assume that they're a couple and you know business in a man or woman thing. And as such, we will look, we will whisper, we will even get angry, but we will go about our business and do nothing about it. Abusive men get away with hurting women due in large part to the kind of society we have become. We are becoming an individualistic society. Hands off, we see nothing, we hear nothing, we do nothing in this society. But that's not who we really are. Am I right? We are a people who care about each other. Isn't that so? Who get involved in each other's lives. We even love to pay attention to other people's business. We treat each other's children like our own. And we know that we rise or fall together. So, ladies and gentlemen, the magnitude of violence against children, or boys and our girls, and women in this society is of great concern. Right now, while we're here, a woman is being abused somewhere and someone knows about it but is doing nothing about it at this very moment a child is enduring the most horrific violence again someone knows about it and i'm sorry queen africa didn't do daddy don't touch me there i mean we're really disappointed that she did not perform that song right So we cannot refuse to stand up for that young boy or young girl who is being abused. We have to face the hard truth, ladies and gentlemen. This culture of silence empowers abusers and makes us all vulnerable. Without meaning to, we give tactic, tacit approval to violence. We do so by our refusal to intervene by our unwillingness to do what we can in our small way to stop the abuse, by our inability to use our collective strength to end the violence. Tonight we say, unite to end gender-based violence. These acts of brutality against our women and girls must stop. And I want to hear you say, this violence against our women, our boys, and our girls must stop. What do you say? It's unacceptable. And we must do all we can to ensure that the perpetrators are caught and punished under the law. Therefore, if you have any information about this or any other crime, please make a report to, to the police. As a nation, as a country, we are failing each other 
especially our children and our women, when we keep silent. But tonight, we can change that. We can end the violence. It requires all of us to end the violence. Let this International Women's Day be a turning point. The day when we all decide that enough is enough. Enough silence, enough pain, enough tears, enough bloodshed. I want you all to stand. Stand tonight. Stand and show that you are committed to end the violence, to end the bloodshed. I want to see you stand. Enough perpetrators are getting away scot-free. Enough is enough. Say after me, enough is enough. We must unite to end violence against our women, against our boys, against our girls. Tonight is a turning point, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is the night we unite. Every entertainer who came on stage tonight and to come on stage tonight are committed to going out there, the nook and the cranny of Jamaica, to going to communities, to find the perpetrators, to speak to the men out there who are abusing women, and to speak to the handful of women who abuse our men, even verbally. So tonight, you say, we unite. To end gender-based violence. Gender violence, we are bold, we are bold. And, we are and we are committed to end violence against our women, against our boys, and against our girls. God bless you all. Thank you.